Good morning, class. Welcome to this discussion today on credit. Y'all, anybody know what credit is? Not sure? What is it? Some credit, like if you buy something, you can get certain points. Okay. Okay, you might buy uh, airline, uh, air flight yeah. points and things like that. Isn't it like when you buy stuff and you pay it off completely, it'll build your credit? So Excellent. it shows your reliability. Excellent. Excellent. That you know, it'll build your credit score, and as you get into the point in life where you're going to want to buy a car, or you want to get a credit card, your credit score is vital to your ability to get a great interest rate. And well, that'll be for another time. Today we're going to talk about credit. I want to share with you a picture. I have four daughters, and they've all come to me and said, "Can I use your credit card?" And I found this one to be great. And it, the little girl says, "Come on, Dad." Let me borrow it. I'll be careful. I won't scratch it. What harm can come to a credit card? Great question. What harm? And we'll try and cover that a little bit throughout the, the school year, but just covering it today, what harm can come to it is you can spend more than what your credit limit is. Or you spend so much that you begin to get to the point where you can't buy anything else because you've used your credit limit. So being responsible with a credit card is vital to your success in life and having the ability to purchase things when you want it. So, what credit basically is, is uh, money that you borrow and promise to pay back. When I got my first credit card, I signed a note that said I would pay back the credit card. And I have paid it back many times, and I have ran it back up, and I paid it off, and I just go through that cycle. But to having a credit card, or having credit means that you borrow money with a promise to pay it back. No one is going to give you anything in life without a promise that you're going to pay it back. So, a couple of different types of credit. Um, credit can have several means. It can be money that you put into your account at the bank, adding to it, but the bank gives you credit when you've made a bill payment and they credit you more or they add to your credit that lets you go a little bit further. When you are extended credit of money, amount of money as in a loan you've borrowed and promised to pay back, it can be in the form of a credit card, it can be in the form of a mortgage. Some of your parents are buying homes and they have to make a big mortgage payment every month. And I've had to do that for 1980 now, it was the first home I bought. So that's what, 36 years ago? I bought my first home and I've been paying on homes ever since. I don't know that I'll ever pay a home off. Or it can be in the form of a car loan. I have two car loans right now, one for my wife and one for myself. And I'll pay both of them off this year. And I'm excited about that. So I'll go a few months without cre uh, any credit payments. Um, but the type of credit we we're paying about today is that money, is that where money is given such as a loan and it is promised to be paid back. Now the word credit, how do we spell credit? Let's all spell it together, out loud. C-R-E-D-I-T. Credit. Now, a lot of people come in and they don't understand it. You've got the basics now. You can spell the word and that's a great thing. And that's part of the beginning of doing it. Um, you did it in unison and that's great. Um, I want you to write the word credit on your notes that you have in front of you there and share that. And after you've written it down, what is credit again? What, what do we have credit for? It shows how reliable you are and how you can pay stuff back. Okay, and you're, you're getting money and promising to what? Give it back. Pay it back, give it back. And everybody wants that. If you don't pay it back such a credit card, you don't pay it back in full, by the end of the month, you're gonna have what's called interest. And interest, compounded interest, means that for the $10 you borrowed, if you didn't pay it back, they're gonna charge you 28% interest. And that starts adding up over time. So you always wanna try and pay your credit back on a monthly basis. With a home mortgage, you can't do that because it goes a long time out. It's a 30-year loan. Um, is there anything I can tell you or anything that you don't understand at this point about credit? Do you feel like you have a pretty good grasp of it? Okay. 
you want to go out and get a credit card today? Nope. Start buying lots of stuff, why? Because you don't have jobs paid back, right? Exactly. And that's a difficult situation to be in. You want to have the ability to pay everything back. Credit can be your best friend, or it can be your worst enemy. And when you get behind, when you're not making your payments on time, you start getting phone calls. And those are difficult phone calls to get. I had that once in my life and I vowed never to have it happen again. And I hope that you'll always make your payments on time, that you'll not go over your credit limits, and that you'll do what you need to do. Our last slide here that we're gonna participate in is there is the definition. And on your piece of paper that you'll turn in, I want you to write the answer again, very quickly. Blank is defined as money that you borrow and promise to pay back. And what is that class? Credit. Say it out loud. Credit. 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 And how do we spell credit? C-R-E-D-I-T. Very good. Thank you very much for your attention and for your participation.